playing go and that's great i'm excited to play go today i've been playing a lot of go i'm kind of done teaching at the college for the summer and so i've been kind of just doing nick things which is great working on some music projects hanging out with some friends playing some board games playing some go uh we're doing great and tonight is a very special night because we're drinking some Rioja. And we haven't done a wine and go video in a while, and that's okay. I have a giant glass of Rioja here. This is quite large, actually. Um, but it's the end of the bottle. I bought this bottle at Costco, and I've... Like, this is not the finest of wines, but oh man, is this like a wine that is Nick. <laughs> like, it's a very Nick wine. Uh, this is the bottle here. Also, you shouldn't, in general, if a wine puts 90 point or you know, any sort of point scores on the bottle, don't buy that kind of wine. Usually that's not a good sign. But in this case, this is such a Nick wine. Like it's very tannic, it's acidic, it's got some bite. It's very much uh, dried fruit instead of like ripe fruit. If you drink like a lot of California wine, you get these very like big berry flavors. And this is just more like figs and ash and prunes and it's just it's just not juice <laughs> let's put it that way <clears throat> so anyway not the best wine in the world but oh man does it does it uh what should we play here does it does it strike that balance of like things that i like in a lot of red wines and Anyway, let's play some Go. I don't know what to do with this. This feels like I should just take the corner. I could play the high one. This is already a little bit dubious. I could play this one too. Nah, let's take the outside, or the inside. This is all gonna be a rote sequence here. Surprise my opponent isn't clicking these moves immediately. He should play here next. Um, let's just make some exchanges. Oh, is he going to jump up? No. Okay. Um, I think we'll play here. We're just looking for some Aji. I want to make sure this bottom is reduced. If he pushes up here, that's fine, because it helps these two stones a lot. Mm hmm. I don't know. I feel smart about this. Like this looks. This board looks actually quite nice for black. Um, white has to work really hard to attack this bottom, and I'm just gonna flow like water. Wait, I'm going to flow like wine. Uh, if you can't tell, <laughs> I've already been drinking. <laughs> but that's fine. Mm. Now that's... That's some dangerous go playing. I don't think this can be right. Right, we just we just crewed our way through here. He should take this double Atari right now. But we just we just like settled the bottom. Like in the middle of what White was trying to attack. Yeah, he can do that. I guess we only have one eye. It's actually one and a half eyes, because we can make another eye and go take. Uh but that's pretty that's pretty sweet. And we have this move. Oh my god. Oh my god, and he covers it right away. This is amazing. And we can run this stone out. Oh, I'm I'm excited. And we don't have to do anything. Like, we don't have to play any of that right now. We can just continue, like, playing the rest of this board. And we, and we even have some Aji over here against this group. Oh my god. Let's just push up. Let's just cram this little group here. And then 
depending on how this goes and how violently white feels about reacting, obviously if white just settles and plays like a clamp move here, we'll just take a big move. Um, but we'll see how long we can annoy this. Uh, and he does. Okay. Although this is also very promising. Because uh, it also just makes sure that my center group here has an out. Um, this this white center actually has a lot of influence. <laughs> just because I gave up three stones. Well, two and a half. Doesn't mean it's not worth anything. Actually, white can still build a lot there. So I really want to play a move like this. But I also want to limit the size of this. I guess white can't really do much until he captures this stone. So let's let's just take a big move. I'm sure it can't be. It's. I'm sure that move isn't 100% correct, but it's also not 100% wrong. <laughs> yep. Yeah, okay. So there's the take. So now this group is a uh, has one of its resources uh, now taken away. I have to be careful about. Um, making sure if I get surrounded that I always have K18 because white can play K19 and then it gets a little bit confusing but again I think with this Aji here I think it's not a real problem so now let's play over here we've got kind of a double wing going on in the left yeah white's just going to try to take a gigantic gi like just massive left corner look at this this is like White White is asking for 60 or 70 points, but it's White's only territory. Like, that's it. We have all this other stuff going. I think this is even worth it. Anything over here is also good. I think let's just keep playing. If White can make a bottom left at 60 points. Okay, now White is, is like, we mean business. Hmm... I think I think this is fine. Cause we can still get out. And in doing so we can actually link up here. Oh that, uh, maybe this isn't okay. <laughs> maybe this is a bad idea. This isn't really going anywhere fast, actually. Cause white can cut. Um if white cuts though, we Atari and we just play here, right? Right. And this Aji is still good. Do we have better Aji here? Like, can we just play this one? I think we can. Oh, dear. Is White in trouble? So... Hmm. Uh, I really want to play this one, but white has a nice sequence. Um, off of here. Black, white. Uh, Fiatari, white plays there. Mm, shape is bad. My shape is bad. Right, let's just play here. Hmm. Uh, I should have been thinking more about this than I was, because I have plenty of good option moves, and I do not know which one I should do. <laughs> Let's run out again. Oh my gosh, why is this going to keep pushing? That's exciting. Well, what happens if I just play any of these? This is good. I don't know. Maybe, maybe this is too good for white. Um, just letting this white group out. Also, like, like both groups are crammed, right? So both want to get out. Um, the thing is here, like, this doesn't threaten much. And in the meantime, man, I can just build the center. Let's do it. Let's do it. I think this is a very hard game for white. Like, I know white, like... You, know, you guys are probably looking at this bottom left and going, oh my god, that's huge. I think this is very hard for white. I want to play this one, but it actually doesn't quite work as well as I want. Maybe make this exchange? Maybe this is okay. I just, I just have this push Atari 
cut probable problem. <laughs> Um, all right, let's play here. It's probably a little questionable of an exchange, but it makes sure white doesn't have that sequence. Oh, okay. White's going to cut now. All right. I would love to play here. I think I can play here. Oh, this is, yeah, and this is the nice follow-up too. This is a huge defect. It looks like I will lose the caption race without another move, so I have to play another one, obviously. Is there any counters to this? I don't think so. So we just play there. White, white is just totally screwed. Like, what, what? What is white going to do here? There's a cut here, there's a cut here. And white only has one eye. This is, this is the best, like, wine go game ever. Mm. So I have a cut there. I could also just take or play a move like this. Taking actually feels kind of good. But so does cutting. Um, wait, what are you gonna do? Play there? I'll play there and there. So that's the two eyes. White is asking to play here for bent four shape. So if I play there, White plays here and goes looking for two eyes down here. It's pretty reasonable. I think we got to do it. We got to kill this, right? Like this, this group is just totally effed. Has to play bamboo. Oh, you're going to, okay. That doesn't matter. Uh, choice. I can let white live in Gote or I can let white make bamboo joint and try to live down here. Now, as I'm reading it, there's no life down here. Obviously, it's simpler to let white, uh, you know, just cut off the stone and, like, this is such an easy game for black at this point. I have so much on the right after I cut off the stone. I have, I'll have sente, I'll have all the center influence. I can come back and even just plan a move like this, just making sure white just gets the 60 or 70 points and that's it. But, you know, this this does feel correct. There's a little bit of a danger of a fight over here, but it doesn't feel that severe. Hmm. How much time I got? I got 10 minutes. Uh, let's, just, let's just do a little double checking on the reading. Plays there. We play there. There's a push. White can play there. Like White always has this move for free, which is the rub. I think we do it. It's not I, I can't I can't see an easy living sequence. There are some defects, but everything looks safe enough. Oh maybe here and then stand and then push. That's white's best shot. Even if I have to bail, even if this was if this move was mistaken, is this better to cut off? Like I'm still unhappy here. Oh, what is this? That's fancy. That's very fancy. Do I play here? I think I just play here though. He's so fancy. Cool move. I don't think it works. We should celebrate with more wine.
Yep. So this is a you know cheap bottle of Rioja. Rioja being a region in Spain that is most famous for growing Tempranillo, which is one of my absolute favorite grapes. And and this this Rioja bottle even doesn't actually say the grape. It just says Rioja. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's 100% Tempranillo. Um, and Tempranillo is just also, I think it's either the third or probably the fourth most uh, popular grape in the world, at least in terms of like number of vines planted that grow it. Mm, do I ever play this? I don't really want to play that. I just want to take a stone. Make it go away. Um, but it's, uh, anyway, most Tempranillo grapes are almost exclusively grown in Spain. And so if you're drinking Spanish red wine, you're probably drinking Tempranillo grapes. If you're anywhere else in the world, you're probably not. <laughs> uh, you're probably drinking, you know, Cab Cabernet Sauvignon is the, yeah, this is the plan, right? Come up here, extend, fight over this. This is, this is how white, oh, that's a good move. We'll find a way. But we just push up. Ooh, push up again. Uh, we can just play here. We have enough liberties for this, right? Just stay safe. Like, this is a huge kill. Just massive kill. Uh, okay, this, this, this is not a fair fight. Like, you don't have enough. I mean, what do you mean why is this trying to get something? Yeah, this looks like just something. <laughs> uh, I still have a defect here and an attachment. That's okay. White needs to fix at some point. And can't attach and fix. Although the problem is if white attaches, like I want to fight over here. I don't want to have to come back and connect. Um, but this is such a massive kill that it might not matter. There's the attachment. As promised, I'm I'm I know my opponent apparently. <laughs> I know what he's up to. Uh, I'm pretty sure Wuhane is correct. It certainly feels like this one. Maybe it's this one. I don't know. <laughs> so the the general rule, if you're going to learn anything, and I don't know if it even applies here, but the heuristic for you know deciding which side to Hane is you. Uh, Hane on the side you don't want. That's the that's the general adage or axiom or again heuristic. I don't even know which side I don't want though. <laughs> like I can't even. Uh, more wine. Hey, we have eight minutes. Let's just let's just you know take a moment. I think I think this is fine. I had this extra liberty there because it's bamboo joint. If white had played here, this would this very this version would not work. Uh, but it totally does. So we just play there, and we just play there. Hmm. Not quite working. Let's play there. See if White wants to take the time to play this. Mm. This is me, I right? Oh, I don't have two eyes. Uh, so I might have to fight a little bit. Let's just defend the corner and then we can come back and take this. White can, White can live over here. And while we're not happy about white living, <laughs> uh, it certainly looks like we still have command of the game. What? You can't tanuki this. What about these stones? These beautiful stones. Um, all right. Uh, all right, I guess we'll keep going. Like... We're just going to keep going. For some reason, I'm not really sure what it is. I'm, like the pro I, I really want to play fourth line because it helps me run out this stone. Like this, 
running this stone out is so nasty to white. I kind of want to just ignore this entirely. No, let's do it. <laughs> I mean, I, <laughs> I I wanted to pincer this stone to get a stone over here, but I really want it in the fourth line. I don't really want to pincer on the fourth line because it doesn't really help with these other variations enough. So we're just going to do the thing we want to do. Oh, wow. Okay. Yep. Okay. We're just, we're just going real crude here. You, white can keep pushing, but it's just going to hurt this group. At this point, white can't really push anymore. Or maybe white can push more. Yeah, that's fine. If white, if white plays over here, though, oh my gosh. All right, we're going to turn. Turning is huge. We're very happy about turning, just getting the liberties for the shape. I'd love for this to be forcing. It does not look like it is, but it's pretty close. Um, do we just capture this? Yeah, why not? <laughs> this solves all my problems. Uh, all right, if white plays here, I have honey. If white plays here, I have this. Uh, looks like, oh, okay, takes away the honey. Oh, that's a good move, yeah, yeah. Threatens the corner, takes away the honey. All right, so now if white connects, do I have this? White plays there. Yeah, I can connect underneath. Yeah, this doesn't even work. Yeah, because white plays there, I just connect. So I can do it either way. Oh, but there's a liberty, no, not a liberty problem. So I just play there. Uh, I just defend. Yeah, it's fine. No corner problems. Let's just take another nice corner. Not as big as this corner, of course. This corner, how many How many stones are in this group? 5, 10, 15, 19. It's a 19 stone group. White has to come up with better moves than this. This is too slow. Like, this is way too slow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can do that. <laughs> Uh, if we play here, white's gonna play here and live in the corner, but we're okay with that. Because white's gonna be doing... Oh, all right. White, white's finding some creative moves here. I was totally anticipating this. This is totally white's right. We can take that right away, right now. Um, there's a lot of danger here for white. After all these exchanges, this group is not settled, and I... My groups are, and I have a, uh, a splitting point. Um, hmm. Might have to play this. Uh, but this is terrible. White's gonna eat that stone. This is a nice sequence. I'm impressed. I don't. I don't. I don't know what to do here. This stone is in mega danger. Because I left this defect. I assumed white would just crawl here and live, and I'd have a very simple game. I wouldn't get many points on the, the upper left, but I don't need them. Like, I have I have a 40-point group that's dead, plus another, I don't know, 20 points in bonus territory, plus another 6-point group that's dead, 70, plus another 15-point corner, 80. Like, I'm... I'm real close to 100 points here. And again, white. I'm still just giving white just basically a blink at about 60 points or so. Plus Comey. And I, I think I'm pretty... Un, I'm, un, I'm underestimating too because I'm not counting any of these points. Uh, very interesting. The problem with this is white just plays here. And then can Atari? And Atari. And just, just splits it. Does this change anything? Not really. How demoralizing is that? Well, let's play there. Oh, can we play here now, Asante? Yeah, totally. This is... This is key point. Whoops. Whoops. This point makes the cut work again. I have to respond. Um, the good news, actually, though, is that whatever white puts over here, there's not connected here. So actually, I can just run out, and I still have some friends that are very strong now after this kill. Oh, well, this is, this is, uh, what a great game. <laughs> like, like, not great and, like, exciting. Like, great as in just, 
laying some hammer down. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> what am I going to call this video? I have to come up with a name. I, I, I think my wine and go series was its own succinct little unit. I don't, I don't really want to consider this an entry into that in part, just because I think I already did a temper Neo video, which I know I did a temper Neo video and that's what I'm drinking tonight. So I don't feel like I have a, a good episode. So I don't know. This is just how to kick ass at go. Is that what's going on here? Of course, the problem with calling it how to kick ass at go, I'm going to put it, I'm going to, I'll, I'll read the game with the robot and the robot's going to be like, you dumbass, you did all these things wrong. <laughs> and I'll feel sad about my game again, but. And maybe, maybe we can call it how to give your opponent a 60 point territory and still win. <laughs> opponent sitting the 10 minute mark. I've only got four minutes left on main time. That's fine. I think we should just play here. This is a no-brainer. Oh, he's trying too hard. I don't think that's a good idea. This was the key point. That helped me. Um, is this Miai? I think it's Miai. Which gives me time to jump, I hope. I might also make this exchange first, but I think we just jump. I think it's, this is the strongest. Uh, the problem is white can get a move for free. No, it's fine. Let's just jump. We're fine. We have friends. Uh, we don't have a lot to worry about because uh, if white plays here, we, we can make life in the corner. If he plays that, we can ask a question first because we have a ladder. And this is, this is so sad, but, um, life in the corner feels fine. And now we just have a, we have a very simple fight now. We just have my three stones versus white's five stones. Very simple fight. Uh, both look like they just have to run out. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and at any point I can give up the fight. I can just be like, no, everyone should live. But man, does it, does that kind of feel bad. <laughs> um, but white's not connected either. I think I... Do I push once and give white a chance to come around? No, let's just jump out. We don't need complications. This group is still not technically connected. We have our life in the corner. In fact, it's, it's, it's even like a 10-point corner group still, actually, which I was not anticipating getting. Ooh, is this something? I don't think it's anything. I really don't think it's anything. Like, both are good. Which one is better? Like, this is just a bad move. This is desperate. This is so desperate. I don't know which one is better. I think this one's better. Cause I can at least it uses this peep stone. Uh, here or here, here or here, here or here, or here. No, nah. <laughs> don't like that one. Um, I like this one. Oh man. Okay, white is trying. So I have this move. But feels like I should connect for, oh, maybe, I don't know. I don't think I can do anything. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I see. This this move is Sente for white because then there's a cut here. So that, that actually connects pretty well, but we still have some resources available to us. Uh, which is fine. It's all good. Here just kind of connects everything. This is a little bit more potent, though. I kind of like this. This is spicy. This is the spicy one. 
Oh, my new hobby, apparently, for the last like two months, I've been making fresh homemade salsas, which are really fun to make because I just, every time, you know, cook them a little bit differently. Uh, and if you are not a chef, like I, like I've actually, like a big pandemic hobby of mine has been cooking. And so I've been cooking all these things. We got a minute left. Um, let's just use it to talk about food <laughs> because apparently I'm hungry. Um, but if you're scared of cooking or don't know how to cook, salsa is such a great thing to start out like your own cooking career with. Uh, you know, for, for my salsas, they all have the same basic ingredients, you know, some sort of spicy peppers, mainly tomatoes, right? You have to, you have to find tomatoes and that's the most expensive, that's the most money intensive part. Um, so I'll get some sort of, you know, batch of tomatoes and tomatoes, you want the best tomatoes you can. And tomatoes are kind of grocery store, like beefsteak tomatoes are kind of awful, um, but even then, if you boil them and, you know, get them really, really, you know, uh, kind of red and juicy, or you roast them, there's still lots of things you can do with them. Um, I've been buying lots of interesting tomatoes and trying all, all kinds. Um, but you can just, you know, slice them, fry them in a pan. You don't have to do anything. You just make salsa fresca and just, uh, you know, take all the raw ingredients and throw them into a blender or a food processor, you know, or I've been making pico de gallo too, where you just chop everything up by hand. Overtime has Oh, I've got 30 seconds now. All right. I should be thinking about what my move is play, but I really want to think about salsa because I just made a fresh batch and it's cooling down right now. And I think my opponent resigned. You have a game request. So I guess the game's over. That's cool. Yeah. So what are we calling this? How to give your opponent a 60 point territory and win? How to lay the smack down? I don't know. Let's go see what the robot thinks. All right, give me a second. I'm, I'll go do some review and I'll come back and I'll tell you what I've learned. And I don't know, maybe maybe there's some value to that. Let's find out. Okay, we're back. I have a little bit less wine, but now I have like a, like a small glass of wine amount of wine instead of a really big glass amount of wine. So I think we're making progress. Anyway, if you look over above my messy hair, you will see a win right graph that basically tells the story of this game and how this is just a slaughter. Um, once you get past move 30, white is never in the game anymore. It's just a steamroller for black. Um, there's a couple interesting points, but this, this might be like the most boring review I've ever done. Like for any of my games, like it is, it is just tragedy for white after tragedy and nothing <laughs> redeeming. <laughs> Again, this is a steamroller where the game ended up. We were approaching a 70 to 80 point win here. Looks like, uh, just over 70, 70. Oh no, we did get over 80. So I don't know. Uh, it's, it's bad. It's bad. It's real bad. So maybe, maybe let's focus on on just doubling down on a lot of the things I did right and encouraging you to try them out in your own game. So yeah, maybe we can make it interesting that way. Um, I guess I want to disable the review while we're looking at the moves here. Um, this is all fine for white and this is still fine for white. The AI very much prefers, not by a lot actually, but, but enough, um, very much prefers black jumping out here and is expecting something like this where black makes a solid group at the bottom and then has basically has this sort of rogue renegade group splitting white that black can manage and it's a little bit it can be a little bit rough um if you're not good at reading but these two stones are not in serious danger yet well you definitely don't want to do and if you're double digit q or if you're single digit q you're very likely to play a move like this. And this is not the kind of move you want to play here. This is not how these two stones survive. Um, uh, when you play this, and if white responds here, you didn't actually gain, you didn't actually make a base, right? You're still dead locally. And so you actually just helped make a base for white on this side. So this is a very bad exchange. Um, it'd be better if you, if, if you just say, oh, I'm just going to get these two stones and just play here instead. Like this would actually be a much better um, result. Even if you give up two stones, you get an entire corner. So don't, don't do that. Um, here also interesting, interestingly, the AI did not want to play the Joseki. The AI wanted to keep pushing as you can see by that 
phantom variation. I just wanted to keep doing this, um, which is kind of fascinating. And if white takes, whenever the moment white takes sente to, to sort of attack, take control of the bottom, let's say that, um, black just comes around and, and starts building the right immediately and just leaves those two stones as Aji. So that was interesting. It didn't hate the variation, of course, if you play the normal Joseki, um, but it was an interesting alternative that was totally not on my radar. I thought we were just going to play the Joseki out, like no questions asked. And what's funny is that wasn't even the AI's preferred variation. So um, AI here was much happier just me abandoning this and going and doing something else at the top of the board. Um, this isn't bad. These are all like slight, slight minus point losses. Um, and White's responses are good as well, except this one. This is the first really big mistake. Let's see if we go back. Nope. How do I do this? If we go forward now, we can see this is the, f like, like the game is basically within a one to, I think one and a half points is the largest lead that the AI gives anyone to this point. Um, it's all very fractional, less than a point, up to a point and a half. Um, but this is the first real mistake that gets made in this game is this double Hane. And you can see there's swings to Black's favor. And at this moment, White never has a chance again. This is just too, too big a loss. Um, and you can see that uh, in this situation, it's actually hard for White to come up with the right move. White has to just be patient. And that just feels so bad. <laughs> like, Black's in your territory, and you're only getting third line as it is, and you have to just connect? Like, ow! That hurts. That hurts so much, right? This is such a slow move. So I can understand, you know, a human player being like, I have to do something more active. I have to actually kill stuff. But no, that sets off this whole chain reaction for Black to basically throw the game away. Even though Black's only, it's only a four-point lead, this game is not over. Uh, lots of moves left to play, lots of wine to drink. Hey. It is uh, still a thing. So, anyway, that's the first bad move. There's going to be another one coming up soon. All this is fine. Black has to capture just one eye. But the second move, when White played here, and I was kind of shocked in the game, I was like, what? White took away that Aji? Right at the exact moment I was getting excited about this Aji? This is this is nice Aji. And, but it's only Aji. It's not, it's not legit yet. Um, it's not certainly the biggest thing. You know, if White plays here, like, yeah, this move isn't even on the AI's radar. Let's see how many points... Right now, Black has a 7.8 loss, or 7.8 lead. If I play this, looks like a... Yeah, about a three-point loss. We're playing this. So, um, the thing is, is that these, these stones actually aren't worth that much in terms of points. Like, like if, if white, um, gives them up, white's really only losing about maybe seven points. <laughs> There's some strategic value, but not as much as you think. These stones actually had a lot more value for this corner invasion. And I missed an opportunity to actually play a move um, back here at this point, you can see that the AI actually likes to play it or even a little bit sooner. I think, does it come up? No, it doesn't come up till now. But at this point now, the AI is considering this move. Once white takes control of the bottom, um, this would have been an okay exchange to make. Uh, here, if we play this, yeah, if white plays this right now, descend can continue or just Tanuki. And now I have a stone in the corner. That's very useful on the 3-3 three, three point nonetheless. Anyway, going back, this is the big mistake, and then White makes another mistake, and you can just see this starts to compound, um, and, and all of a sudden I have a 10-point lead. <laughs> We've played just about 40 moves, and Black's up by 10. Um, but what's interesting here is that the AI did not really like my push-up move and just keep this small. It actually was totally ready for me to run this one stone out, and this is such an ugly move. Like, ugh, like, I, this is such a bad shape. Oh, that's ugly, too. <laughs> oh, man, I'm, I'm barely keeping it together. I'm, this is, this is, I guess in terms of quantity, I guess this is, like, my third glass of wine. And I'm not really good at drinking. I'm not sure if you guys have figured that out yet. 
If I have three glasses in a night, that's a big night. So we're having a big night. <laughs> anyway, uh, how does this play out? Very dangerously. Yeah, let's get split. We push up again. Yeah. Um, dangerous. Lots of reading, lots of fighting, but interesting. And white still has a cut here. This whole this whole fight is really about when white has to come back and play this cut. And even though white's not alive. So it's a good fight for black. We didn't play it. Um, instead, we just played the very patient move. And we lost some points because of it. Um, indeed, the clamp is a good move. As I predicted in game. Up here, Robot says you can play here and get a little better of a result. But pretty similar. Um, interestingly, the AI says this side is better. I have no idea what the difference is. <laughs> I, I, can't, I, I can't explain why there's a point of difference between this side versus this side. Like, is this pick one? I, I don't know. Like, I, I, I don't know. I, I'm also starting to get sleepy. Okay, but we must continue with game review. <laughs> there we go. There we go. All right. So this one, yes, white takes a stone, which is a point loss. White, this is just too slow. I play a beautiful move of the extension here. White jumps out. And this is a cool move. In the game, I just can continue to build the right, which the AI does like doing, though. It prefers to do it with a, with a corner extension rather than a, a side extension. Um, but this is a cool move, just to define the shape. Like, white wants to take this as points and be like, hey, white, do you really want these as points? Well, you have to defend this. And in doing so, these exchanges really help this corner. These have been very useful for when white, white got in there later. And I'm already giving up, like, this invading this. Uh, there's Especially after this move down here, way back. It's a huge loss for white, but it did get white the ability to... to really not have to worry about the corner at all and can attack anything that comes in here very ferociously. Okay. So I mean, that's a cool move just to force a response, leave a cut behind, try to get white to end in Gote, and also extend from that stone. Very tricky. I like it. Um, this is okay. And in here, both players are going to make some mistakes, but you're going to see that white, white's mistakes really start to compound as this group gets into trouble. Um, but there's one key moment. Uh, interestingly, right now at this moment is the moment the AI says, you know, take the move, just make the eyes. Um, but after we do all this, these exchanges, goes back and forth a little bit. You can see we're sort of going back and forth between like 7 points and 10 points on the score and everyone in between. Um, when white just keeps pushing up here, this just kind of goes sideways for white. After black gets this cap, we're just into the teens now as far as a scoring differential. Um, I do play the AI move, which is interesting. And this cut goes real south real fast. And check this out, a 24-point loss. And the AI's correct response is to play here, which feels really weird because in the game, I just make eyes, and that's an 18-point loss, but... Yeah, he says, this is better. So let's talk about this. Again, we're trying to limit the eye potential. You can see how this already sort of pokes out an eye. If white has to play here, then we can play here. Then we can throw in. And if white takes, again, basically it just kills the eye. And we're, if we do this, we're already up 46 points. Um, so we're totally alive and white's in big trouble. <laughs> We didn't find that. We just played the normal move, which basically guarantees white and I. Um, but yeah, making this exchange first, forcing the shape this way. This is the harder nose response here. Let's show you this one. If white plays here, the harder nose response for white is here. Um, but then in this case, black takes this Atari for free and then plays here to live. Oh, but white lives too. Everybody lives. How is this 36 points up? Wow. Okay, AI is saying the life of this group is really only about 10 points worse than just killing this tail. So that's pretty remarkable, actually, that it, that it 
the AI values the killing of this so highly. Like, it's like, oh, if White lives here, that's fine. We just need to kill these four stones. Anyway, as you can see in the game, let's get rid of that blue. Um, black is just playing the AI moves just over and over again. <laughs> um, how many is that in a row? Is this a record? How many AI moves did I play in a row? All right, so after this, one, two, three, four. I'm not counting whites. I don't care about whites. I'm just counting blacks. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. nine. And I played nine AI moves in a row. That's pretty good. And if you don't think so, you go play nine AI moves in a row and see how hard it is. <laughs> Uh, I mean, there's more there. I, I I, mean, after this one mistake, I'm still playing AI moves. Like, this is all just just good, solid sequence for me. I even cut on the right side <laughs> by, by a tenth of a point, but still. Um, but here, this is this is a part where I made it make a small mistake. It didn't, it, I'm already up by 70 points. Basically, the say of this game is, this is dead. This is all the white's territory. This is all the white has. Black has all this potential at the top. Um, this group is not settled. Like, this game is dumb, right? There's no game to be played here when black is up by 70 points. But the thing that I missed to really, really drive home the point that I was up by a lot is uh, I have this connection. I just didn't, I just didn't see this. I thought I had to kill a stone. I don't have to kill a stone. If um, white ever saves the stone, let's uh, play this move. Let's say white saves the stone. <clears throat> if for whatever reason white's strong over here, I can actually just connect here. And there's nothing for white to do. I'm just connected. And so I missed that. This this group is always connected. And so I played very timid because of it. And that timidity? Is timidity a word? If not, it should be. It explains why I played this, right? Because again, I was timid about this connection. And I shouldn't be. Like it's it's connected. And then my timidity, I'm defined. I'm, that's a word now. I've used it twice. Uh, sort of rears its head here again. Like, I don't need to actually get this group out. I just need to split an attack. And, you know, let's do the pass thing. Like, this is brutal. Like, white is under severe attack here and severe attack here and has still lost a 19 stone group. Like, like what? Like... How can this game go better for me? I mean, I guess it did. It could go better than it did in the game because I tried to get this group out and I didn't need to. Uh, anyway, uh, even my defending the corner is correct, according to the AI. Yeah, this is a little bit of an overplay. When white doesn't net the stone, my go intuition, yes, was correct. Just run the stone out. Um, I was debating, do I want to respond up here? Do I want to do anything here? Like, what do I do? No, just run the stone out. <laughs> Make such big problems for white. And you see I'm just playing rows and rows of AI moves again. I missed this one. But that's okay. I take a two-point loss here to basically solidify, to just as insurance. This was just, this is very insurance kind of mood uh, or move to make sure this is dead. Anyway, the rest, uh, I'll just get to the next interesting part. The move that I that I really praised White for this attachment, apparently it was better here. The idea is very similar. Um, basically, we're trying to maximize the value of this stone and this Aji. And so White's not going to define the shape yet. Just play there. So that's fine. Uh, best move was to just pull back. And if White plays there, we can kind of fight Save the three, just run the three stones, get them out. Looks like everyone will live, and that's fine for me. If everyone lives, that's fine. Oh, no, I don't want to remove this branch. What are we doing? I want to go back to the game. Anyway, this is a big loss, as I noted. Um, what's interesting, though, is that this move is better than standing. In the, move, in the game, I thought this was the move, because if I play over here, white has this cut now that I can't actually capture. As you can see, I, I lose two stones. Um, but I didn't realize that this move does the exact same thing. 
this is stronger. So w sorry, I I for myself I didn't see the better move for my opponent. I still I was wor I was still worried about the correct thing to be worried about. I just didn't see how even better it was for White. Um, good jump out by me. White, you know, does this. We make an exchange, then come back, and there's not much here. This is again another you know three point loss. We're already up by seventy two, so it's like it doesn't matter. Um, but again, I also make the right decision here to connect rather than leave more Aji that could potentially help White connect. And uh, this is about where we get to the res. Oh no, sorry, this is uh, we didn't play this out. This is where the game ended. Uh, so anyway, that was a really boring AI review. There really wasn't a lot there. <laughs> like I played really well. Apparently, I should always drink wine while playing Go. That's what I'm learning. I'm also getting sleepy, so it's definitely bedtime. I don't know what time it is by you guys, but here it's 12.30 in the morning, or midnight. What do you say? It's 12.30 in the morning, right? People say morning at min after midnight. Um, you know, I, 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 I recognize I'm playing a little below my level. Not quite far enough to really call it a sandbagger game, but, you know, these four dons on Tai Gem, if I'm, if I'm, on my game at all, like, like I, I know there's slaughter, but I don't feel bad about it. It's still fun. It's still fun to go in and just kind of kill your opponent all over the board. So yeah, that's that. And uh, if you made it this far, good for you. You are a champion among YouTube viewers. And uh, if I know some of you guys out there are going to the US Go Congress, not that many. The US Go Congress, I think, is going to be one of the smallest Go Congresses. It's been a long time, um, but it starts one week from today, exactly. Um, at least the date I'm recording this. this. This video won't be published for like, I don't know. Actually, this video probably won't be published until I'm actually at Go Congress, come to think of it. Um, so happy Go Congress! If you're there and you're watching this video for some reason, instead of like doing the Go Congress, First of all, you're doing Go Congress wrong. And second, uh, yeah, actually, if you're, if you're watching this video, the problem is you're not at Go Congress. So uh, you probably don't know what, well, yeah, maybe you don't even know what Go Congress is. In the U.S., there's a, there's a national tournament every summer at what's called the U.S. Go Congress, and I'll be there. So that's where I am, and I'm going to try to upload a couple of videos from there. Probably not a whole lot this year. It's going to be one of the smallest Go Congresses I think we've had in a long time. I haven't looked at the guest list lately, but I think it's going to be like only 300 players or so, um, if that, uh, which is quite small. That's quite small by historical standards. Um, but, you know, we're still living in the age of the pandemic, and uh, I know a lot of my friends, my stalwarts who go, my posse, my crew, are not going this year. And, uh, you know, that's fine. Like, like I, I get it. Um, but if you are there, and for some reason you're watching this video, uh, you know, come introduce yourself, come say hi, and that's where I'll be. That's where you can find me. So, happy going. Uh, if you, if you aren't at the Go Congress, there will be plenty of Go streams, uh, especially like, like, uh, relay games, uh, as far as the, the big tournaments. And so checking with that, checking with the AGA journal, if you're not a member of the AGA, you probably don't get the AGA e-journal. Um, that's that like, like this is, this is like the most amazing part of the year to be part of the AGA community. Um, because they're just sending out daily articles and, and news of Go in the United States. And, you know, if you want to be a part of that, go join the AGA. And, you know, the AGA is a great organization that is the biggest, you know, contributor to American Go. And if that's the thing you support, go support the AGA. That's how you do that. So, anyway. I know I got kind of rambly here, but... I'm also almost close to finishing my wine. I suppose I should finish it. This was, this was basically a double glass. And so I'll, I, I do feel a sense of accomplishment if I can keep my eyes open. Like, <laughs> this is getting real sleepy. Hmm. Salut. Anyway, happy... Go oh, man, I should not put that wine glass on my cell phone. <laughs> That's a disaster. That's what I did. Happy going. Hopefully enjoyed this slaughter of a game. Uh, 
And if you're at Go Congress, you know, come say hi. All right. Thanks for watching.